What's up guys, I'm here with my last review for the Absorbing Man Wave Build-A-Figure and that is the man himself, the Absorbing Man. And I have to say that this entire wave as a whole, as far as what I picked up, knocked it out of the park. Every single figure in this wave is at least good. Most are great. And I'm definitely going to say that Absorbing Man just makes the great side of things. The build is great to me, comparatively speaking, to the size of other legends. The look is simple, but it gets the point across for the character. It's a very comic booky. It works. You know, you see him in cartoons and stuff like that. I know I saw him in um, uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon uh, last season, I believe, in the... Um, Grandmasters games or whatever at the end of the season, but I, I'm really impressed by this character and What I can tell you as far as this entire wave goes Severus get down Severus What I can tell you about this entire wave is that I'm impressed from top to bottom even my least favorite figure in this wave still beats out probably 80% of the rest of the Marvel Legends that I've bought. I think this wave is that good. As a matter of fact, I had the uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man, Spider Carnage, and I sold him, uh, which was a mistake because I sold him when I got the Carnage from Green Goblin Build-A-Figure, and I think that was a mistake because I could have kept the hands and use the hands for wolf cap but I didn't think that one full or think that one through fully and uh, spider Gwen while I have no interest in the character whatsoever this line that I did pick up is just so damn good that I almost wish I picked the other two up just to have the full line that's how good the absorbing man wave is if you don't have these figures yet I highly recommend you go pick them up now to give you my ranking as far as the Absorbing Man wave goes, and as far as the figures that I have, again, I'm only ranking the figures that I have. I can't rank Ben Riley Spider-Man, even though I did own him at one point. And I can't rank Spider-Gwen because I don't have her. I've heard very good things about them, but I can't rank them personally. So my ranking stands as such. At number one, I have to go with Venom. He's an absolutely perfect rendition of the character that I love, my favorite Spider-Man villain. If you are a Venom fan at all, you need to pick up the Venom figure from this wave, period. Number two, number two and number three were really tough for me, but I have to give the edge at number two to She-Beetle. The coloring is perfect. She's very photogenic. She's awesome. Her, the simplicity and the execution of her simplicity is just so damn good. She just looks great. So I have to give the edge, very, 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 very small edge to She-Beetle. And number three is Morbius, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains as well. I was stoked when I found out that this line was stacked with a Venom and Morbius. And Morbius is just great. Like I said, She-Beetle just barely beats him out for that number two spot. But Morbius is in there at number three. At number four, I have Absorbing Man himself. While this isn't the best build a figure around, it is one of the better ones that I have. And I have to give credit where it's due. I really dig him. I do wish that I had gotten the plain arms or at least one plain arm out of the uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man, but I didn't, so I'll make do with what I have, and he's still a very good figure. At number five is Speed Demon with the Silver Mane uh, RC car figure, two figures for one. Again, very simple figure, but the execu execution of the simplicity is on spot and on point, and it's a great figure. In last place for the figures that I bought, I had to I had to knock Jack O' Lantern all the way down to the last spot. He looks the best out of all of them, but using him and again my reviews are mainly for using these figures for stop motion or acba creative purposes using jack-o-lantern right now until i work with him a little bit more the figure is just so difficult to work with that it knocks him all the way down to the bottom of the list so again it's venom 
She Beetle, Morbius, Absorbing Man, Speed Demon, and then Jack O' Lantern. That's my roundup for the Absorbing Man Build a Figure wave. However, I will note that this wave, this entire wave, is fantastic. And if you don't have it, pick it up as soon as you can. Go out, find them, buy them, get them, do whatever it is you do with them. They're awesome. Maybe the best line that Marvel Legends has put out, in my opinion, that I have collected thus far. Fantastic line.